Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this 60s meets 70s Valentine's Day look and I always love to mix the two eras up because I love the makeup and hair of the 60s but then I have this cute jumpsuit that remind, totally reminds me of the 70s so I, you know me, I always like to do my own thing, mix things up around so I had to get this done for you because I absolutely love it and I think you guys will absolutely love it as well and as always I do not want to keep talking so before I get out with the video be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I upload videos now that I'm uploading more often so let's get right into this video and I hope you dolls enjoy it okay dolls so to first get started I'm taking my Bombay curling wand I believe it's a two inch curling wand and I'm using my VP fashion extensions I've had these forever they were a dye it yourself um, set so my hairstylist dyed these it does not match my hair exactly because I haven't uh, dyed them with my new hair color so it's gonna be a bit bright just letting you guys no ahead of time but what I'm doing is taking two to three inch sections these are just gonna be much larger sections and wrapping them around the curling wand now when I'm wrapping them I'm making sure the strand lays flat anyway so this is how each strand is going to look and I'm just going to continue that same process for all the strands that I have. Sorry, for all the wefts that I have. Now this is all of them curled and I'm going to let them set while I do my hair. And of course, cheers to you guys. Today I'm drinking White Claw. This one has two grams of carbs. I'm a they ran out of my Smirnoff one at Target, so I had to settle for this one. It's okay, but I prefer the Smirnoff. And, of course, no Modelo because I am still on my diet. Sorry, guys. So, to get started, I am doing the same thing I did with the uh, extension wefts. I am just curling my hair, making sure these sections lay flat. And I like to do almost the same process, start in the back, then work to the side, and then go back to curling the back. And now this time I'm going to curl the whole top section in the same direction, which is towards the back. So this is what you should have. Now moving on to makeup, I am starting with my Marc Jacobs primer and applying that all over my face. Then going in with my Mineral Fusion concealer, I'm first going to cover up the tail ends of my brows. And then start applying that underneath my eyes to cover up those dark circles. I will also be applying around my nose because I have a lot of redness there. And then why not just cover up my mustache as well? <laughs> Now going in with my Fenty Beauty in the shade 210 and my Mineral Fusion Foundation in the shade Olive 2. I am just going to mix the two and apply that on my face. I like to mix the two because the, the Fenty is too light for me and the Mineral Fusion is too dark. But when I blend them together, they actually match my skin pretty well. Going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and then going to set the foundation. Now taking my Benefit Cosmetics 3D Brow Brow Gel, 
I'm applying that on my brows. And then going in with Browsings by Benefit Cosmetics, I am taking the gel side and I'm going to start outlining my eyebrows and creating that tail end. Now I'm taking the powder portion and applying that over the gel and this is, this is going to help blend my natural brows with the brows I just drew on. So first, for the eyeshadow, I am taking my Amazonian Clay Tardis Pro Palette and I'm taking the shade Classic, which is just a very basic kind of cream um, brow bone highlight. And then I'm going to go in with Edgy and this is where I'm going to start slowly creating my cut crease. Now because my lids are really small, I, I really want a dramatic lid space and cut crease. So I'm creating one above and I'm using just a thin brush. And then I'm going to go in with a slightly wider um, shadow brush. This is the Lexi 131 Mini Angled Brush. And then I am going to blend that out with the Luxie 121 brush. Next, I am deepening that up a little bit and I am going in with the shade Smoked. And I'm slowly going to start building this crease. And once again, going in with that really small flat angled brush. And then I'm taking an even smaller brush and this is the Luxie 141 brush and this one really helps blend out those um, thin lines. Going in with Carity Primer, I'm going to apply that over my lid and just make that, uh, define that cut crease a bit more. And then I'm going in with this uh, Kat Von D Plum Palette. And the first shade I'm going to use is this really light lavender shade. And I'm basically going to use that as a base. And then go in with this pink shade here. If I use the pink all alone, it comes out a bit darker. I tried it and I didn't like it. So applying the lavender below it just makes it pop a little bit more. And once I'm done with that, going in with my TARDIS palette again, I am taking the shade Punk, which is a black shade, and using my flat angled brush and just creating, once again, a more defined cut crease. And I'm using this small little smudge brush to blend that out. And that is it for the lids. Now I'm going in with my NYX Cosmetics Matte uh, Liquid Liner. And I am going to create a dramatic wing and I want to follow that, sort of follow that swoop that I have created in my cut crease. And then just applying some mascara. And of course I'm taking my Miss Lashes, Lashes <laughs> in 102B and this is the look for the eyelids. Now I'm taking this Marc Jacobs Eye Pencil and this one is in the shade Pink of Me and I'm applying that in my waterline and then I'm also going to take a dark brown and a black as well and only outline the outer portion of the lower lash line. And this kind of gives a little twiggy look and then set that with a thick coat of mascara. Now for bronzer, I'm taking my Wet n Wild Dragon Me Down bronzer. This has quickly become my favorite bronzer to use. Going in with my Tarte blush, I'm going to apply that on my cheekbones. And then taking my Wet n Wild highlight palette, I'm just going to subtly highlight. And now I am taking this lip liner shade in Toast by NYX Cosmetics. And I'm going to outline my lips and give sort of an ombre effect. Mm -hmm. 
taking my new favorite in Abu Dhabi by NYX Cosmetics. I'm just going to apply that in the center and blend it in with the lip liner. And that is it for the makeup look. Moving on to hair, once it's set and cooled down, I'm just taking out all the pins. And then I'm going to run up my fingers just to break up those curls. And then separating, starting at the lower portion. I'm going to take a teasing comb and really start teasing that first section. And then I'm taking my four clip weft and I'm applying that. And the tease is really going to help those extensions stay in. And then I'm just running my fingers so it blends in with my hair. And now I am going to part the sides and the back and I'm going to tease that whole section. I'm taking this three clip weft and I'm starting with the side and meeting to the back of my head and then again on the other side and meeting it with the other extension and then blending in once again. And as you can see, they don't blend in with my new color very well. Now I'm going to start parting again and just really teasing that hair and covering up those extensions. And now I'm taking another four clip weft and I'm applying that at the crown. And then I'm going to actually tease this one and I'm going to try to get as much volume as I possibly can. And then going back in and teasing my own hair so I can cover up that weft. Now this bang portion, I am going to start teasing a lot. This is going to be our little pomp in the front. And all I'm going to do is gather that together, place a bobby pin, and then place another bobby pin. And then I'm going to tease that excess hair just to give it a little bit more volume and cover the top. And this is the final hair look. Now for earrings, I'm just using these Forever 21 earrings. I think they look very 70s. I love them. And for outfit, this is the Fashion Nova outfit I had included in my last haul. I absolutely love it. It's just so 70s and I think it's so cute. It's the perfect shade of pink. You know, not too pink, but not purple. It hugs my body really well and it has lace in the back. So a little bit of peekaboo going on there. And here is a close-up. I just love the belt at the waist. Now these are the heels I used. I used these because this uh, jumpsuit is actually too long for me, but with these heels, it was the right length. I really wanted to wear these. However, this belt is gold and my shoes are like a foil silver, so it wasn't going to work out right. So that is it for today's look. Definitely something different than my normal look. But please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Help this channel. And I really appreciate your continued support. See you soon, dolls. Bye.